Well, it's interesting. A lot of times when people uh, want to know about Islam, they assume automatically that you know, Quran, the Quran, the, the scripture of Islam, is the, the basis of Islamic law and dogma, and that's where Muslims get their religion. The interesting thing is when you talk about Islamic law, the Quran doesn't have very much legal material in it. The vast majority of um, the rulings of Islamic law come from hadith, which are sayings uh, attributed to the Prophet Muhammad. So, for example, how to act towards your parents, how do you do a prayer, uh, how do you pay charity, how do you judge in a certain kind of legal case. This material all comes from, from the Prophet's words. Unlike the Quran, however, uh, which is generally even amongst non-Muslim scholars of Islam considered to be historically reliable in the sense that it's traced back to the time of the Prophet and hasn't really changed since then. Uh, hadiths were not written down during the time of the Prophet and so many, many thousands of hadiths were forged in the centuries after uh, the, the beginning of Islam as various groups, you know, political uh, parties, sectarian groups, uh, people from different countries and races wanted to advance their own agendas. They would phrase what they wanted to say in the words of the prophet and put that information out there. It was a great way to convince people that you were right. Uh, so Muslim scholars had to try and figure out which hadiths were authentic and which ones were, were forged. In the modern period, this has probably seen the, the greatest, I guess, debate amongst Muslims over hadiths because many uh, Muslim scholars in the 19th century and the 20th century who were influenced especially by European study of the Bible and European scholars who were studying Islam, decided that a lot of these hadiths that had been concluded uh, to have been uh, authentic, to be authentic, that they were in fact forgeries that Muslims had failed to detect. And so some Muslim reformers, in the, especially in the 20th century and up until today, see hadiths as being this kind of historical prison that had captured the incorrect understanding of Islam and that Muslims have to be willing to sort of jettison these, these forged uh, reports in order to, to really understand their religion correctly. Of course, there are still many Muslim scholars uh, and many Muslims in the world today, um, sort of from the Muslim laity, who believe that this body of hadith that had been handed down to them from classical Islam were in fact uh, correct and represented the true teachings of the Prophet. So that's one of the big kind of fault lines you see between different, let's say, Islamic modernists versus Islamic traditionalists is to what extent they want to keep or get rid of the Hadith literature.